Hello, UBA Wise Music students. As you would expect, our jury process for this semester will be much different than it has been in the past. The benefit of this is we're doing asynchronous performances. So just as you uploaded your videos for departmental, you'll be doing the same for juries. The only difference is you will also have to scan and upload your music that you'll be performing, and you'll also have to deliver your student digital portfolio. In this tutorial, I will take you through a few steps to make sure that this is a quick and easy process for you. As always, if there are any issues, any concerns, questions, feel free to reach out to me at dws4w at uvaywise.edu and I will be glad to help. So this portion of the video is going to demonstrate how to scan your music into a PDF file and upload that file to Box so your faculty can view your music as they evaluate your performance. We'll only be using our iPad and a scan documents feature that is somewhat hidden within the Files app. So let's navigate to the Files app, it's the folder here, tap on that. And it's important that you save your file, you choose your location right away because that's where it's going to save to. I would recommend iCloud Drive or on my iPad. That way you have a copy and you can copy it to Box when we're ready to do that. So hidden at the top under these three dots, if you'll tap that, you'll see an option called Scan Documents. Once we click this, we're going to be taken into a document scanner. And let me talk about this briefly before we go there because it's going to be kind of rapid once we get there. If you have your document on a uh, black background or a dark background, it's going to provide good contrast and the app will automatically scan each page for you. So let's go there, tap on scan documents, see document scanner, I have a brown background my music is on. If I hold steady, my first page is automatically scanned. It just takes a moment, hold good and steady there. Let's go for page number two. Sorry about the moving and seasickness I'm providing for you there. Page two, let's do one more page. Notice this is possible because we have auto on the right side of the page. And the third page. Done. And notice there are thumbnails at the bottom of the screen. One, two, three for each page. I'm gonna tap on save three. So I'm saving all three pages in one document. One issue is that the uh, the file is always saved as scanned document. It doesn't give you the option to change the name of the file as you save it. So I'm going to tap that. I'm going to tap long tap, and I'm going to rename this file. Hit the X to delete everything. I'm going to call this Dsora. And because maybe this is the only piece that I'm doing for jury, I can get away with just saying Desora Jury. If I had multiple pieces, I might want to say Mozart or Haydn or the composer or something so that the faculty can easily find your music. Done. It's saved. So now let's move this file. There are a variety of ways you can do this. The easiest way i found is a long click, tap on move. So now we're making the move into box. You see I already have this where it needs to go, but might likely you would see box, if you'll tap on box. You would see student performances, tap there. Juries, tap there. And we have music. We're gonna tap there, that's our final destination. And we're gonna tap copy. And that's a nice thing because then it puts a copy in that file and you still have a copy on your device or on your iCloud drive in case you need it or for some reason it doesn't work. So let's go navigate and make sure, let's go to box. Student performances, to juries, to music, and we see Desora Jury. There's the document, and if I open it up, you may not have access to do this, but if I open it up, I see one, two, three pages, and we're done. Let's discuss how to record and upload your jury performance. First of all, make sure you record in landscape format as if your iPad were connected to your keyboard and we have the wide screen as shown here on this video. Use adequate lighting so that we can see who is performing. Front lighting is best, back lighting is worst. Be sure your full body is visible in the video so that evaluators can comment on your posture. Remember that this is asynchronous so multiple takes may be made of your jury performance so you can select the best one to submit. Before you perform, 
make sure you record you stating your name, the date this was recorded, the composer and the title of the composition, and always give credit to your collaborative pianist if you have one, whether in person or they have submitted a video or, or audio recording for you to play with. So let's take a look at this video here. This demonstrates good lighting. This demonstrates uh, full uh, screen so we can see the full body. Tap play here. You can see me speaking. I've got it muted right now. We don't need to see that. Then when it comes time to perform, performing, you can see my full body, good lighting, everything works. So now, how to export this? Let's go to the export. I'm in photos right now because I just recorded the video and it's saved to photos. So I'm going to export. I would recommend saving this to your files. So I'm going to tap save to files. I'm going to rename the file and the standard protocol is something like this. The Sora Trumpet Jury. If you have more than one piece, you might say handle for the first one and Haydn. There we go for the second one. But in this case, I'm just going to tap that. Tap done. And I want to save this. It doesn't matter where you save it as long as you have access to it to iCloud Drive. Save. Okay, right, let's go out of photos. So we've recorded, we've saved the file somewhere where we have access to it. And now I see that file in iCloud Drive. There it is. So it's long tap on that file and we're gonna move the file. So if I tap move to box, notice the file name is correct, looks good. And under box, we want to go into student performances. You may not see all these options, but for me, student performances, to juries, and then to performance videos. This is the final location for your performance. So I'm gonna type copy, and that's a great thing also because it copies it into box. You still have a copy on your iCloud drive in case something goes wrong. So copy. Now let's investigate. You may not have the opportunity to do this because of permissions, but I can check this out for you if you would like to verify. I'm going into box, student performances, juries, performance videos, and sure enough, there's my video ready to go. And that's it. Not so bad, eh? Make sure that you have all these items submitted to your box folder by Wednesday, December 2nd at noon. That's the deadline for you to turn in all of your materials. So that way the faculty can have time to review your materials and get those back to you by the end of the semester. I wish you the best throughout the process. And please, again, let me know if you have any questions. My email is dws4w at uvays.edu. Best wishes for a great jury performance.